Ready for a mind-blowing fact? Babies begin their emotional journey right in the womb, long before they start trying out those delightful babbling sounds. Just imagine these tiny beings are learning the ropes of managing their emotions while they're still doing somersaults in the comfort of their warm, snug, utero environment. This process continues once they're in our big, wild world, long before they master the art of saying mama or dada. Yes, you heard that right. Their emotional education begins before they even master their abs. Now, as cute and fascinating as it is to watch your baby explore emotions, it's equally essential to guide them through this roller coaster. And guess what? We're going to be your navigation system in this emotional labyrinth. Buckle up as we're about to embark on a thrilling journey to decode the secrets of infant emotional regulation. By the end, you'll not only understand your little one's emotions like a pro, but also help them express their feelings in a healthy way. And the cherry on the cake. We're going to sprinkle this journey with a dash of Caribbean flair. Our quest for understanding baby emotions isn't as daunting as deciphering the Da Vinci Code, but it is just as intriguing. We'll be exploring the hidden language of baby's emotions, from their priceless facial expressions and gurgling sounds to their not-so-subtle wailing signals. Not only that, but we'll also unveil some effective strategies to ensure your baby grows emotionally healthy. As the suspense thickens, let's not forget the Caribbean gems that are waiting to add that exotic twist to this thrilling saga. Are you ready to dive in? Let's go! First things first, let's put on our emotion detective glasses. Emotional regulation, in its simplest form, is the ability to manage and respond to an emotional experience in a healthy way. For babies, it's their way of saying, hey, I'm feeling something here, even before they can use words to express it. The signs may vary. One baby might cry for an encore of peekaboo, while another might just make a cute frown. It's like a unique secret code for each baby. As decoding experts, we know that every gesture, sound or expression a baby makes is a little clue to what's going on in their emotional world. Whether it's the triumphant giggle after they knock down a tower of blocks, the quizzical eyebrow raise at the sight of broccoli, or the full-on meltdown when it's nap time. These are all tiny emotional breadcrumbs that we can follow. But our code-cracking journey wouldn't be complete without a touch of the Caribbean, would it? Traditional Caribbean wisdom brings us some charming techniques for soothing and connecting emotionally with our little ones. Remember the lulling rhythm of a grandmother's humming? Or the snuggly baby wraps that magically calm the fussiest of babies? And who can forget the all-natural remedies like chamomile tea for those teething woes? There's a world of wisdom waiting to be rediscovered. Now that we're equipped with our baby emotion decoding skills and our Caribbean treasures, let's dive into the scientific part of our journey. Emotion nurturing techniques that have been tested and proven to foster emotional growth in babies. When a baby cries, they're trying to communicate something. By responding promptly and appropriately, we validate their feelings. And when we provide a secure and loving environment, we give them the confidence to explore and express their emotions freely. Now, isn't that a recipe for a happy, emotionally balanced baby? As we journey through the various stages of emotional development, from the drooling teething phase to the enthusiastic crawler phase, and the ever curious toddler phase, and the ever curious toddler phase, it's essential to adapt our strategies. Just as you wouldn't give a toddler a pacifier for every meltdown, you wouldn't leave a teething baby to tough it out. Each stage is a new adventure, a new opportunity to refine our emotion nurturing techniques. There you have it, folks. 
a thrilling journey through the intricate maze of baby emotions spiced up with a dash of Caribbean wisdom. When you help your little one navigate their emotions, you're not just raising a happy baby. You're setting the stage for a socially and emotionally balanced future adult. So go on, decode those cute frowns, respond to those adorable giggles, and let the Caribbean magic weave its charm. Don't forget to join us on our next journey as we continue to uncover the fascinating world of baby development. In the meantime, apply what you've learned today and celebrate every emotion, every stage, and every unique moment in your baby's emotional journey. Here's to nurturing our little champions 